Welcome back. Let's get right into the new conversation. We're going to stand on the shoulders of the last one. We're still in this arena of planning your day to explode your pay. Lesson number three. Actually, it's the second part of the guest planner conversation. And as you recall, last time we were together, I gave you a homework assignment, right? And that was to uh, take some action. And number one, begin to put your current average ticket and your average ticket goal on your planner. Number two was to begin listing your tickets uh, before you start your day. Then it was about, depending on the dollar amount, I asked you to do that, to compare those tickets to your average ticket to see if they were above or below average. And then last but not least, to begin to total your day before you begin. So if you haven't watched a lesson, do that now to catch up to us. Now, this particular conversation is all about the middle column. Last lesson, let's take a peek at the tickets before it shows up. This lesson is about what is it exactly that we want to begin offering to the clients in those windows. And as you recall, a couple of lessons ago, I gave you the rules for guest planning. You remember that, that if the ticket was lower, it was about offering services. If the ticket was higher than average, the alternatives was to begin with a retail as well as referral. So I want to take a peek at first ticket, lower than average, rule of thumb, offer service. What I would do if I was you is just write in in the middle column service. Now if you want to abbreviate, you know, A-D-D-O-N-S-E-R, add-on service, A-O-S, I'm going to leave that to you. But you're setting an intention to make a service offering to the lower than average ticket. Now I, I can, I'm beginning to hear you think, well, what is it that I'm gonna be offering? Listen, don't concern yourself right now about what specific service offering you're gonna make. Why? Because you can figure that out in real time when you're in the consultation. This particular lesson is about just setting an intention to make an offering, a service offering, and you're just not thinking about it, you're inking it down so that that intention is almost like a blip on your radar screen when you're in the consultation. You're looking for opportunities about what other services that you can offer beyond the haircut that might serve your guest and prosper you. Now, the next idea then is when we look at the second ticket, it's a $100 ticket, it's higher than average. Again, the rule of thumb, it's all about retail and depending, we can put in there, we may want to talk about referral as well. So coaching you on this, I would just simply put RET, kind of an abbreviation for retail, and I might even put uh, in parentheses REF for referral. Now again, do not concern yourself with what specific retail offering you're going to make. The idea that you inked your intention. That'll be a blip on your radar screen, whether it's you're, you're in the consultation, maybe you're in the middle of a, a, a color process, maybe you're in the front end of beginning to finish your guest hair. It'll become apparent to you in real time about what specific retail offer. This is general, it's quick, and it's easy. Now, I don't want to give you any more than that. I want you to, your homework assignment is to begin putting all of your tickets on your planner. Continue that process just like in the last lesson. Identify if those tickets are above or below your current ticket average and the goal. And then the biggie, you're going to begin to write down what you intend to offer those guests in your middle column. That's all for now. Great conversation. We'll pick up on this conversation next time we meet. See you then.